Hi. I haven't done a video on my little iPad for a long time. So, but today I'm, I am. And, hmm, it's not going to let me turn this back around. Oh, darn. Let's see. I'll have to see kind of what you're seeing. There's little Dio. We are out in the motorhome. We haven't been out here for a long time. Mostly because I have allergies. They're the worst. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. We're in, in the back area where the bed is. He's so happy. Anyway, I can come out now because the juniper, cedar, and birch is done. There are other tree pollens coming out, but they don't give me as hard a time. As you can see, these windows, they actually let a lot of pollen in. So um, the other windows are just sliding windows. Let's see. I can't really see what you're seeing. Little, and I don't even know if you can hear me as I go around. Anyway, I'm going to spend some time out here just, just for fun, like a little vacation. It's my little area I, I get away from. It's just in the front yard, but uh, it's all nice and clean out here. I, I do my, um, well, like my spiritual exercises, contemplations, all that stuff. And out here, so I'll show you a little bit. I don't think I've shown people this for a long time. The refrigerator's broken. Gosh darn it, we got to figure that one out because, you know, I like nice things like refrigerators working. Yes, I do. Anyway, it's a really nice vintage 1996. So, um, here's, can you see out here? It's just the front yard. There's our what tree that... Uh, it has been having, well, it's just an older tree. That's the front yard. So it's just calm and peaceful. I love having some land around me. I I like that. I love the, the yard here. It, it's really nice. It's got a lot of trees around it. I don't feel well if there aren't some kind of trees around, even if they're like palm trees or whatever. There's going to be trees around. Okay, let's see. It's pretty dark. You're going to be able to see this. I can't see what you're seeing now, darn it. Anyway, I still have the front shade up. It's really pretty nice. There's a refrigerator we got to fix. And then here's a little, you know, microwave. I can come out here. We don't have a microwave. I hope you can hear me in the house. So um, we used to have a, there's a, air, air conditioning doesn't work either. It got broken too of whatever happened on that one trip. On the rough road, um, you, do, you just got to be careful with these motorhomes. <laughs> and here's the oven. We've never even used the oven. Just the uh, wait, can't, let's see, just the burners and stuff. Anyway, this is kind of like my little home away from home. It's my place to come and you know change my spot and change my uh, energy, that kind of thing. So there's the couch. I've got, you know, it's older, uh, older motorhome, and then I've still got the that goes across the um, thing there. So anyway, that's that, uh, that, I'm going to just spend some time here today. Probably do some um, healing with my Genius Insight app because uh, I probably want to still work on the allergies and everything else. And I don't know what else I'll do. Um, I'll just go play it by ear. Anyway, the dog and I like, you know, we get bored. So we like to change where we're at. So, see, he's very happy. See? Uh, uh, can you see him? There he is, a good boy. And it's got a nice queen-size bed. You know, I might even sleep out here tonight. It's gotten warm enough, and I don't have the allergies. I don't need the filters on right now. It's kind of fun, you know? It's kind of like having a tree house or something where you kind of just get away. But anyway, okay. <laughs> Hope everybody else is having a good day and enjoying some nice weather. Okay, now I'm still out in the motorhome. I'm going to try an experiment here. I have this movie thing on this iPad. I'm going to see if I can put two 
two little videos on this iPad and see if I can put it on YouTube or not. So, I have some interesting reading here. I've got two great books, because sometimes I like to think about ancient... Um, I've always wondered what the planet was like about 12,000 years ago, so... Um, I just have... holding on to this thing here. Oh, I just charged this up, too, with some good frequency. I feel really good out here in the motorhome. The energy is good. So, I got two books here. I've got this one. I think this is the one I read um, when I was a child. It was a, more of a paperback when I was in Fillmore, Utah, living with my grandmother. Uh, oh, my uncle loved this book. So, I got that book. And that would be the continent that was out more in the <clears throat> Pacific Ocean. I mean, our terrain 12,000 years ago, probably that was a lot... Who knows? It may even, you know, our sense of time on some of these things, it could be millions of years ago. Um, you know, look at Lake Bonneville. You know, I was in Utah and Salt Lake. I used to climb Mount Olympus, and you see the two ridges where Lake Bonneville came to. I mean, that was way up the mountain. So it was an inland sea. So, you know, it disappeared. Supposedly it was there 12,000 years ago. And... Um, God, it was like an inland sea. So, you know, North America may have looked really different 12,000 years ago. And then I've got a little interesting book here, too. Right here, right there. And that's on Lemuria. It's the same, it's the same continent. It, this is actually, supposedly, this is like a 1930s book. It's a Rosicrucian book, actually. And it has some really interesting... Um, information in there about the Lemurians who supposedly live under Mount Shasta and they also used bismuth which I find really interesting. Bismuth has some kind of like magnetic qualities to it um, to anyway they use that in their uh, technology uh, actually even now um, and they were, you know, Lemurians. They were out in, you know, the continent that kind of sunk because of, of natural reasons, not because they were um, corrupt people. You know, Atlantis was a, supposedly a different story, and that's, again, out in the Atlantic Ocean. So we had land masses maybe 12,000 years, as, er, as just as long ago as 12,000 years ago. I, I don't know, this stuff just kind of interests me, and I like to then take it into a contemplation and see if there's any other information that I that I can get. And then when if I do find that information contemplation, I try to find something that... Um, show my chin. Huh. Uh, anyway, show my... Um, sh you know, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to bring the camera up above you. I can see why. Anyway, um, I'm just an old lady anyway. Um, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, you know, I'm just going to ex explore and see what else I might find out about that. I'd love to, um, supposedly, I mean, there are people that have seen these Lemurians around Mount Shasta. I mean, they're like really tall Indians, and they do have a mark here, that, a protrusion right there of, of where the third eye would be. So they're probably highly developed in ways that we are not. So... And they're very nice. You know, they come out and want to get this and that. I think they come out just to let people know that they're there. I think probably they have an energy door. You know, there's no real opening on Mount Shasta. Uh, probably some kind of energy door like they have at Mount Adams. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm going to see if I can get these two. God, it's already four minutes. Um, get these two um, separate videos and put them on the movie thing. I don't know. Last time I tried to do a YouTube on this iPad, and it put it took hours. I I don't know what the problem is on my other computer. Just a few minutes for you know a twenty or thirty minute um, video. So I don't know what's going on here. All right. Well, that's what I'm doing today. If I find anything interesting, I'll I'll uh, report. Alrighty. Bye bye.